How's it going, Virgo? I hope everybody is having an amazing weekend. This is going to be your current situation. My name is Sam, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So let's see what's going to come through for your current situation in terms of love. Take what resonates. Make sure you're watching your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement readings for those additional you know, messages of clarity that you feel drawn to to similar messages. All right. I'm giving away three free love readings. So all I need you to do is go ahead and subscribe to take part in these monthly giveaways and leave a heart emoji in the comment section. At the end of the month, I'll remind everybody who participated be checking their notifications because three people will be hearing from me. And then I will announce February's giveaway. My Etsy shop is having a sale on love messages, um, love readings, personal love readings. So you can head over there. The sale is going to take part until, I think, February 13th. And there are a few readings that are on sale that are over there. Link is in the description box to my Etsy shop. All right, we got being divinely guided, divinely protected. So whatever the situation is, that is your current status in your love life. You're not doing it alone. Your spirit guides are right there. Your angels are guiding and protecting you on this spiritual journey. You may have lost someone. Um, you might have had difficulty dating or meeting someone that just clicks with you or is on the same page of what you're looking for. Within those hard times, that's when we become our strongest. When, when we're alone, when we're, you know, going through... Even if it's been a year, two years that we're, we're single, in that time we grow, we focus on ourselves. We learn to love ourselves even more. Become the best version of ourselves. So no matter the situation currently going on, I do feel it's you're being divinely guided. All right, anything else, Spirit, for my Virgos? Sometimes when you're hurting so bad or missing someone or going through a loss in terms of love, you feel like you're doing it alone. You feel like you're spirit, like asking your spirit guides or the universe or Holy Spirit, you know, God, whoever you resonate with, like, why is this happening? Why, you know, are all of my friends engaged? All of my friends, you know, have a boyfriend, long-term boyfriend, long-term girlfriend. You know, why is it so hard for me to meet that person? They're right beside you. Yeah, something that you've been manifesting, working on, and working hard, and staying focused on. It's like you, there's about to be something achieved within your love life. Positive energy surrounding you. Spirit is saying, definitely remain patient. Yes, it's been an uphill struggle, but it's like you're just peaking the mountain within this reading. All right, let's see what else. All right, Spirit. For my Virgos, we've got watching love. So there is someone watching you or are you watching someone? Break from love. I feel a break here between you and someone, but I, I truly feel neither one of you. It's like you're abstinent from one another right now. There is that break, that pause within the connection. But I feel that neither one of you have stopped keeping an eye on the other. If you got similar friends, same friend group, maybe met through family, asking about one another. All right, let's see what else. Current situation in terms of love for my Virgos. Family. For those of you that are really hurting or you feel like you're alone, like I said in the very beginning because I felt that message come through, lean on your family, your friends that are like family. Maybe there's coworkers you see every day and you know you, you open yourselves up to them because sometimes we see them more than we see our family. Get that support. Help you heal. But I do feel like your spirit guides are helping you ascend. Raising up your energy, calling in that love that you deserve. 
a lot of growth is happening within you. You may not see it because it's very, you know, it, might, it could be possibly baby steps, but it is happening. Spirit wants you to try to be patient and rely on them, lean on them for that support. All right. For my Virgos, parent situation in love. Virgo's current energy in terms of love and relationship. Page of Swords. Yes, you are watching someone from afar. Could be an air sign, younger air sign, maybe Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But it's, you do, you've got your eye on someone. You could even be dating, um, you know, using a dating app. Page of Swords, finding someone through a dating app. Somebody you know, through social media that's caught your eye. Like I said, you might be spying on someone, specifically. All right, Spirit. What love is coming towards Virgo? Current situation. Thank you. King of Wands. Somebody very confident. You're going to find this person very attractive. Um, very outgoing. Obviously very stylish, but has their own style, but a lot of confidence, a take charge type of person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and I feel for some of you, you know who this person is. With the Six of Cups here, I feel for some of you, you know who this person is. What is it, the present energy surrounding Virgo? Judgment. Divinely orchestrated. I feel like I said, the message I delivered in the very beginning of this reading, because I felt it come through very strongly. This has been a huge awakening for you. You know, you didn't, it's like you didn't let this time that you've been single go to waste. You've been really working on yourself. But I do feel for some of you, someone's returning, wanting to apologize, second chance. But it is divinely orchestrated that this love, this passionate fire energy coming in, coming towards you. What does the future hold, Spirit, for Virgo in terms of love? The future holds. The Empress. So I've got Libra, Taurus energy here. Obviously, air with the Page of Swords. So Gemini. Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It feels someone, it feels connected to you even in silence. This person could have had an addiction of some sort, um, might have been going through struggling times of their own. might have needed to focus on their finances and so may you have but i do feel you know this person please clarify the page of swords for virgo's energy in terms of love king of pentacles for focused on work focused on your career focused on getting ahead even though if you see in this picture very dedicated to what your work is, to what makes you have that stability and support for yourself. The heart's over here. It's not too far from you. And even though the heart is at a disconnect from you right now, I still feel that you're watching this person. All right, the person's showing up in this reading, current situation, King of Wands. Eight of Cups in reverse. This person has not completely walked away. You're spying on them. They're finding it hard to move on. It's like you're watching each other. Going back and forth. Is this the day that I reach out? Has Virgo moved on? You know, is your person that you're spying on, um, have they moved on? Are they finding a happiness without me? Present situation, why judgment? 
There will be communication. There's the Eight of Wands. This is a very passionate connection. A lot of chemistry, like I spoke of. It's like a sexy energy between the both of you. You take both of you take care of yourselves. It's possible you have strong fire in your chart. But it's like you only want to be with one another. You only desire to be with each other. And what does the future hold? What does the future hold? Oh, King of Swords in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. I'm sorry. Queen of Swords in reverse. For some of you, it's also... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I have strong air... <coughs> Guys, I apologize. I'm getting over being sick. Strong air energy, strong fire energy. But then again, we have some earth and water, so. I still feel like an indecision that's going to continue. Both of you focusing on yourselves individually. But if you notice, again, the heart is not too far from you. It's like. Yes, you're moving on. Yes, you're focusing on your own stability, your own support. But it leads to this. There is going to be communication. They want to come towards you. What you're doing, Virgo, is completely, it's working. Not only is it working for you, um, being focused on your, you know, on your own support and stability, but it's working for them because... They can't stand the distance between the two of you. You know, by you focusing on yourself, it, it portrays that image of you moving on. And this person is going crazy. They want to come towards you. There will be that breakthrough between the two of you. And it's possible the separation was because both of you needed to focus on your work. Maybe even schooling. Um, you know, you both needed to further yourselves. Goals that you wanted to accomplish. And you are doing it. All right, Spirit. Please clarify Virgo and their current situation with what I currently have here. Six of Swords, the movement, better times ahead for the two of you, wanting to come in and make that amends. You see the shifting of energy here. It's both of you are fake, focusing, facing, I should say, facing one another. He's got flowers behind his back. If it were this way, you see that knife and the flowers portraying a different image, ill intent here, but kind of like candy coating it. There is no knife wanting to make an amends. This person either even, you know, either opened up their own business, re reached those goals that they had set for themselves, but they're coming in very abundant. They could have possibly even come into money um, through an inheritance of some sort. Maybe took over a family business. But I do have strong, like I said, strong air and fire here. What else spirit do we have? All right. Well, oh boy, we'll take them. Okay. King of Cups coming in with their heart completely open. Yeah, they're definitely coming out of their shell. Where both of you are at, in at your mind space. Where you've taken a break and had this chance to review everything, go within, focus on yourself separately, it's leading to this. It's leading to this union. An aha moment. I feel for both of you. And I'm definitely going to clarify the Empress. Why is the Empress here twice, Spirit? Why is the Empress here twice for Virgo? 
Three of Swords wanted to come out and then jump back in the pile. Yeah, giving you the chance to focus on yourself. I truly feel this ending was a blessing. I know you don't feel it, Virgo, but this ending was a blessing. Both of you are coming in very stable. The passion and chemistry that you feel for one another, it's undeniable. It, it's like it was never going to go away anyway, even in separation. That's why it's coming in as the king and queen of um, fire. But now coming in with stability. With the empress here twice, it's like you may have found out you're pregnant or you, you know, or you may have found out you're going to be a father with this person. But the Empress is here twice and it does, it's, it's like of nurturing, compassionate, kind of like motherhood type energy. Maybe somebody's mother played a role in this, like, you know, had too much to say, didn't like the person you were dating. Um... You know, wanted you or the you know, the like the mother role, you or them, focus on work or career or schooling and put love on the burner and and the back burner and it's like that advice kind of like weighed on the decision to move forward together. Take it how it resonates, guys, but coming in with your heart completely open, wanting to make an amends. All right, let's see. For Virgo spirit, a message from this person, the current situation to Virgo. You make me nervous. I feel like you have a lot of stability around you to begin with. You can really take care of yourself, Virgo. It's like, you know, you, you're good with money. Um, you're good with, you know, reaching your goals. And this person may not have been where you're at in those terms. And it kind of made them nervous. Divine counterpart. See, I was getting that with the divine feminine showing up twice. A deep soul union here. And we'll take those. All right. Water under the bridge. There's that making an amends. And an unhealthy attachment. Remember when I said with the devil. Might seem codependent. Um, I don't know, maybe had like a minor setback and is living with their parents or counting on like, you know, their parents to pay most of their bills or the, it's going to be different for each one of you, but there was an unhealthy attachment, something that they needed to focus on. All right. Spirit final messages for Virgo in their current situation. Final messages for Virgo. And their current situation. See, so guys, mirroring did come out. I do feel for some of you, this is your twin flame coming through. The two of you going through similar similar experiences separately. Sometimes rejection, I always say this, rejection is spirit's way of protecting both of you, redirecting you on separate paths because there are still things for you to experience and learn from. But mirroring did come out. Issues are being reflected and exposed. Like attracts like. Identity issues. Struggling with orientation. Afraid to show their true colors. It does say sexual identity. So for those of you that, you know, resonate with the same sex, maybe it was hard for this person to, you know, to tell their family, their friends that that they're, you know, that they do want to be with you, that they do love you. Someone was afraid to completely open up here. The sweet spot. See, you never really separate it from one another. You're each other's sweet spot. You're each other's passion. Just like I spoke of. No, it came this way. Fixer upper. Mm. 
the fixer upper here, it's the same. It's like making an amends. I feel like one person really struck, like they tried really hard to be the perfect partner for you. It got too overwhelming for them. But like I said, I do feel growth on their part. Okay, we got... This keeps coming out. I got this deck. This new deck in this bag. This cute little bag that came through. It's on Etsy and I'm not like trying to... But it says, make healing tea. Not necessary tears. Make healing tea. Not unnecessary tears. And this came with it. And I keep it with it, but just, you know, because it's very spiritual. But, all right, let's say. I, E, J, L, blank Scrabble tile, R, O, Another blank. Let's see if I can get some more. S. F. N. A. T. All right, now we have a variety. All right, take what resonates. Leave that heart emoji down below. Anybody who wants me to tune into their just their energy and focus my energy around yours. Um, link to my Etsy shops in the description box, and I offer a variety of personal readings over there. All right, so much love and light, Virgo.